Well, hello. Welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Libra Love Prediction reading for August 5th through August 11th. Please keep in mind, this is a gentle read. Not your story, not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loving, peaceful, kind, sweet, fun Libras. Show me, spirit guides. What's going on with my calming Libras? Let's see. Show me, spirit guides. Page of Swords. The Lovers. Eight of Cups. Five of Swords. And the Nine of Wands. <sighs> Libra. You got to be careful what you do. You got to be careful. I, I don't know if this is you or if this is him. And I think this is... See, first of all, let, let's start at the very beginning. The Page of Swords. Page of Swords is that is my curious card. That's my card. Is Curiosity Kills the Cat card. You know what I'm saying. That's my card. Of, I got to know what's going on card. So you went looking for something. I'm going to be very honest. You went looking for something. It is what it is. I can understand. Something to you wasn't right. So you went looking for it. And you found it. Because here's this page of swords. That's communication. That is communication. You found something, whether you, whether you found it through their phone, whether you found it through somebody called you or telephone numbers, text, I don't know, whether it was through their social media, you found something. You found something. And you didn't hesitate either to get the flip up out of Dodge. you like, I can't deal with this. And you know, here's the deal. You, there was a deep love here. There was such a deep love. This could have been a Gemini sun sign as well person. But there was just such a deep love here. But, you know, somebody talked out of both sides of their mouth. Someone told you they loved you, but yet they were still dipping in. You you know what I'm saying. Maybe with someone else, maybe with a past lover. You know, they told you they were done with them possibly, but they weren't. They weren't because you saw messages. There's something that has happened here. Either you received a phone call, you saw messages, something happened, and you knew that something intuitively, you knew something wasn't right. Something seemed off. And you went looking for something. And when you didn't have to look very far because it came to you. I see this. Whatever this is, it, it, it revealed itself to you. Because this page of swords, like I said, whether it was through a phone call, whether it was through text, whether it was something. You got into their phone. Maybe you saw messages. There is something here. He told you it was over. But it was not. Here's the Eight of Cups. You're walking away, though. It's in the middle of your reading. So this reading lets me know, yeah, yeah you walked away from this. You walked away from this. You know, you won't let you. No, uh -uh. You walked away. And there's that five of swords there. You walked away. But unfortunately, I, and I'm, I shouldn't say unfortunately. You walked away, but you miss them. It's like I miss you each and every day. I miss you. That's what I hear you saying. I miss you so very much. I miss you. That's what, that's what I hear you saying. You walked away from someone, but you also went looking for something. And you found it. And I, I'm not going to turn. I'm not going to say that. But whatever you walk, whom, whomever you walked away from, you miss them. Now, what's interesting that the nine of, of wands is in the, at the end of the reading. The nine of wands is that, I want to be very honest. You walked away, but it's almost like you're saying um, you, you're not giving up on this relationship. It's like it's not done. I just feel like it's not done because the nine of wands, that's my don't give up. Just keep, keep pushing, keep pushing. And it's almost like you miss them and you're like, I'm not going to give up on it. And you're almost waiting for them to make a move, I think. I, I, I'm just being, I feel like you're waiting for them to make a move. But you miss this person that you, that you found out that they possibly were still with their, are still having some type of a relations with their significant, with their past love. Now give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading just to see what additional information the spirit guys want to tell us about this relationship. Sit back, relax, let's see what additional information the spirit guys want you to know 
Um, let's see. Why is this page of swords here? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the page of swords here? Show me why is the page of swords here for my Libras. Oh, look at that. That hermit card. Who can be a Virgo sun sign? Well, that's the hermit card represents Virgo sun sign. But the hermit card is all about looking within. Um, and, and that's what you did when you found this uh, page of swords. This page of swords. Something wasn't right. And, you know, you start looking. And, you know, when you start looking, you find. And there's that hermit card there that says, now there's a dark night of the soul going on with you. There's, there's just, uh, you're trying to figure, find guidance, find your way out because you have found something. You found something. You thought he was done possibly with his past lover, but he's not. You found something in his phone. You found something maybe on social media. You found something, some type of communication that let you gave you the information that you wanted. So let's see why the lover's card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the lover's card here? Show me. Why is the lover's card here? single nine of pentacles single and doing your own thing yeah you yeah you you let him go you, you definitely walked away you know you have to be single whatever you found you know you you're not into sharing you don't share so you're walking away from this you're walking away that single card that nine of pentacles is single doing your own thing and it's over the lover's card someone that you had a deep love for but you had to let them go you had to let them go they broke the trust they broke the trust so let's see why this Eight of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Show me spirit, guys. Ten of Cups. Wow. You walked away from your happily ever after. Uh, being very honest because you truly love this person. You thought this was going to be your happily ever after. You walked away from your happily ever after. That Ten of Cups. Um, ten of Cups means family unity togetherness two point see the kids here the, the 2.3 kids dogs that's what you walked away from because that's what you thought this was going to be but then you found out something he was still and i still i don't know why this what the spirit guys are saying this is someone that was still communicating with the past love there was someone that was still communicating he told you he wasn't but he was you're not going to share you're not going to share but however here's his five of swords Let's see why the Five of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Five of Swords here? Show me spirit, guys. Six of Pentacles. Oh. Six of Pentacles is a giving relationship, uh, a loving relationship. See, here's the deal. Even I, I know, I know, Libra, you found something and I understand you walked away, um, but you missed them. You missed the love, the compassion. You missed the caring, the sharing you guys did together. You missed this person. You he cheated. I don't know if he uh, he did betrayed you, but I miss you. That's what I hear the spirit guy saying. You betrayed me, but I miss you. That's what I hear. So let's see why this nine of wands is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the nine of wands here for my Libras? Show me why the nine of wands is here for Libras. Three of Pentacles. What did I say? You're waiting. You're just. It's almost like you know you're not going to give up on this. That Three of Pentacles is teamwork. You're just hoping that it comes back around. You're hoping that he comes back around to you. You're hoping because your heart is open for him to come back. You're willing to compromise. You're even willing to forgive. And that's why I see because he was your happily ever after. He was. He was the man. He was your happily ever after. You're willing. You're just waiting. You're waiting for him to reach out to you or you guys to get back together so you can have a meeting of the minds and start to rebuild this relationship. It's not over. You you, you miss him. The, the, the love is still there. Okay, so let's see. Let's start at the very beginning. Like I said, the Page of Swords is here. Page of Swords is here. You went looking for something because there was something that just wasn't right. You found out, and I say this again, it is his past love he was still communicating with. There was some deep communication there. And here's that Hermit card. That Hermit card is like, when you found it, so the Hermit card is like looking within. It can represent a Virgo sun sign as well. But it's looking within. Now you're in a dark night of the soul because you're so broken. You're hurt by this. I don't. I, you're just hurt by this because... You thought it was all about him because there's a deep emotional bond here. The lover's card is a can represent a Gemini sun sign, but there was a deep emotional bond. But remember, the lover's card also is about making decisions 
And you made a decision after you found out about this to be single without him. Yeah, you moved on because the Eight of Cups is in the middle of the reading. The Eight of Cups is moving on, walking away from it. You walked away from it. You walked away from your happily ever after, though. Did you move too soon? I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. Did you blow things out of proportion? I don't know. But there is something here because that Five of Swords is here. You miss this man each and every day. When you lay down, when you wake up, he's on your mind. That sword's energy. He feels the same way. He knows he messed up. But I don't know if it was as deep as you think it was. And, and he shouldn't have been con talking to his ex. But I'm not quite sure that this is completely over. Because what you miss most and what this relationship was, was a very kind, loving, charitable relationship, a give and take relationship, a dependable, you could depend on him, he could depend on you. This was a loving, kind relationship. He made a mistake. He made a mistake. Now here I also see the Nine of Wands, and Nine of Wands is not giving up. And I just strongly believe you're not. Neither one of you are going to give up on this relationship. I don't think so because, see, the Three of Pentacles is here. It's just you're going to, I think, to build again, to build a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. And I think that you had a team with him. I just think he made a mistake. But I tell you this. I still feel the spirit guys are saying this. You miss this man. He misses you. I don't think it's over because, see, the Nine of Wands is here. It's not, I'm not, not giving up. The Nine of Wands is here. So let's see what my oracles have to say about this. Show me, spirit guys. What do my oracles have to say about this relationship? Show me. Oh, whoa. It says the situation will improve. That pretty much, hey, the situation will improve. So whatever you're thinking, oh, it also says remain positive. Remain positive. That's what it's saying. Remain positive. Um. Wow. Wow. It's saying big happy changes are coming. It says recovery. I told you this is not over. This is not over. Oh, wow. Forgiveness. And that's what you need to do. Forgive. Because you missed this man. He made a mistake. I don't think this this was a malicious mistake. And I don't, I'm not quite sure it was as big as you thought it was. I think, Libra, you stepped way out. And I'm, I'm just saying it is what it is. I'm not judging you. But I think that, that, that things can be different. Things can be different. I really think that. I think that this can be recovered. Um, oh, it's also saying in the near future. I think that this can be recovered. I really honestly do. I think this relationship can recover, be recovered. I think that you um, have... have huh, I just think that it can be recovered. I don't know how else to say it. My favorite card to pull, a meditation brings answers. Meditation brings answers. That is my favorite card because it's talking about basically pray, meditate, whatever you do. 